Hey, this is Alex with Affordable Marijuana License, and today we're going to be talking about distillate syringes and the many different ways that you can use them. Distillate syringes' first use is going to be as an oral product. You would dose out a rice sized grain of the distillate syringe. This is 90 milligrams. Um, it's very, very potent. You're going to put it onto a cracker, onto a cookie, really onto anything. It's very thick and sticky, so you don't really want to put it onto your finger. It would be very difficult to kind of clean up afterwards. Not everyone likes the taste of the distillate syringe. If you're looking for the relief and want to avoid the taste, you can get a piece of wax paper, pre-dose out those rice-sized grain, um, and put it into a freezer, into the freezer. And then just when you're ready, peel one off, swallow it down, keep it in the freezer. The next way to use these is by making your own edibles. Some of the benefits to making your own edibles with distillate syringes is first, you can pick a strain specific um, syringe, therefore making your edibles strain specific to, the need, to your needs. The second is cost effectiveness. Um, we have many patients that tell us they like the effects of edibles, however, it's just outside of their price range currently for the amount that they need. So when you're making those edibles, all you've got to do is attach it to a carrier oil, whether it be coconut oil, olive oil, butter, whatever it may be, you're going to put that oil on the, into a pan on the stove. Don't turn it on yet. You're going to take your distillate syringe and put it, run it under hot water or put it into a glass of hot water while the lid is still on there. Once it's softened up a little bit, you're just going to put that distillate syringe onto the oil that you have on the stove. However many milligrams you put in, you dividing by how many you make, and that's how many milligrams are in each edible. Once you've added on top of the carrot oil, you're gonna turn that stove to the lowest setting and just begin to slowly stir, working it in. You don't wanna keep your pan flat. You want, it's very sticky, it'll kinda stick to the bottom of it. You kinda wanna work in the corner of that pan. Again, on the lowest heat setting, just kinda st slowly stirring it in um, until it's evenly mixed. Once it's mixed, you add that oil to your recipe, and there's your edibles. The next way you can use a distillate syringe is by refilling a vape cartridge. Um, some of the dispensaries and some smoke shops sell something called a refill kit. It's a hollow point needle that you can screw onto that distillate syringe and refill that cartridge. Um, this again, is another cost effective way. Typically your vape pens are gonna run six for $65 to $85 for that half gram. And the distillates tend to be $65 to $85 for that full gram, so you get double. Um, you just got a little bit of work to do, so that's another option. Another way you can use the distillate syringe is by dabbing, either through an electronic dab um, rig or pin, or using like a traditional dab rig and torch and or nectar collector. Another way that the distillate syringes can be used um, is by making topicals. You can make your own topicals with them. Some people like to add them to lotions or almond oil, whatever they kind of like to use um, for their topicals. Another option for it is to add it to your flour. If you are like to roll, you can take that distillate syringe, line the inside, kind of paint it across. It's gonna help it burn a little bit smoother, add a little potency to it as well. So like at bedtime, it can be really nice to add that indica, help get some good sleep. Um, if you've got any questions, you again, you can head to our website, you can give us a call. Have a great day, bye.